Hi guys, um, so I'm back with another video. Like I said in my previous one, I'm going to kind of show you the Cydia, tw Cydia tweaks that I have installed on my iPhone 4S. So right off the bat from the lock screen, you can see that I have this folding animation and I, I'm sliding up rather than to the right for a regular slide to unlock. This tweak is called, uh, I believe, unfold. That's what it is. So you basically unfold your lock screen. So I will kind of go through the list of the Cydia tweaks I have installed. Um, so action menu. So action menu is kind of like an uh, enhanced copy paste um, menu system. So let's just type some random stuff. Blah 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 blah. Uh, blah blah blah. So instead of having a copy or select all copy paste, I can just say copy all, and then just go to a new line and then go to the system and say paste and it'll paste all the text that I just wrote. So that's kind of convenient if you write like um, a whole paragraph or something. Moving on to the other studio tweaks. I have activator of course. Activator is one of like the biggest studio tweaks people install because there is so much functionality you can get out of it. It basically sets custom gestures or button presses so that you can activate certain things on your iPhone. Uh, for example, um, I have the home screen. If I press it three times, it activates Safari. Very convenient. I don't need to go double tap to the, or tap to the home screen, go find Safari and launch it. Just go tap three times and bam, right there. Um, another tweak I have for activator is that if I hold the camera or I'm sorry if I hold the power button um, it activates the camera which is kind of convenient for quick camera access right out of your pocket you don't need to go to the lock screen slide the camera thing up and then get the camera it just automatically brings up the camera so even on uh, home screen I can press and hold the power button brings up the camera so it's just kind of a convenient tweak I also have um, the volume up and volume down buttons so that they control the media. So if I push both at the same time, it'll play music. And it's playing some Lindsay Sterling and have the volume. Again, press both up and down and I can pause it. Or I can hold the up button to uh, fast forward. Or I can press and down press and hold the down button to rewind. It's really convenient for having the iPhone in your pocket because then you get automatic media controls within your fingers reach. You don't have to go to lock screen, double tap the home button and control your media from there. So that's one really convenient um, tweak to have is uh, Activator. So I would highly recommend using Activator if you want some custom gestures like that. I also have uh, pinch out to bring me to the home screen, pinch in to bring up the multitasker, which is kind of convenient at times. So moving down the list in um, Cydia, I also have airplane SB settings installed, so I will guess I'll bring up SB settings. SB settings is another one of those must-have Cydia tweaks. It kind of brings up this menu from this custom gesture at the top, and you can change the brightness, turn the location toggle on and off, airplane mode on and off, Bluetooth on and off, Wi-Fi on and off. You can also respring the iOS device so if you need to refresh something from a different app or tweak, you can go ahead and do that right from the uh, SB settings menu. So that's a really convenient thing. It also hides um, icons on your home screen so if you can tell kind of I don't have iTunes nor the uh, um, App Store on here because I don't really use those on my iOS device and so it kind of hides that automatically for me so I don't have to worry about it. Um, let's see black keyboard so that's kind of just a um, just a aesthetic look instead of the standard gray keyboard it has a black keyboard and it's transparent I don't know if you can tell but yeah, it's transparent. You can't really tell on the camera, but I can see the lines of the notes. So that's just an aesthetic thing. Um, some of you may like it. 
I also have blurred NC background, which kind of makes the background of your notification center blurry, and you can change the color on it too. I have mine set as purple, um, but it's just kind of another aesthetic look to it. And I also have diet bar. So on say settings, um, usually this bar at the top is really big and you get less screen space on the list of things you're scrolling through. So with diet bar it makes it smaller. I believe it said it was 20% smaller. Some small number but it does make a difference. Um, and you can set toggles for it uh, for different apps. I have App Store, Calculator, Camera, blah blah blah. All of these apps use it. So it's just another kind of small tweak that gives some more functionality out of your iDevice. Um, what else do I have? I have Flux installed so when it turns sunset in my local time region it'll make the uh, screen kind of a yellowish tint and so if you're using your iPhone at night um, it's not as abrasive to your eyes, so it's just a small tweak. Um, I also have fake carrier um, installed, so I can set my carrier name to, I don't know, T-Mobile instead of AT&T, or I can change it to something like V-Moda if I want. Just type in a text and it'll appear on your um, carrier name location. I also have five dock and five column springboard installed. So five icon dock is pretty self-explanatory. I get five icons down here, and then five column springboard gives me five columns of um, apps instead of just four, like the standard. Um, so I don't actually need an iPhone 5 to get that fifth row of icons in my iDevice. So that's kind of convenient. I can fit more apps on one page. Um, I also have some winterboard themes that I'll go through. Um, I also have eye blank, so on my home screen, all of this black space here, that's those are actually individual small um, app icons. Um, I guess I can show you here. So if I hold and make my apps wiggle, I kind of get uh, apps that you, or not apps, but icons that you can't see. So if you saw the icon that was here got moved there, the one that was here got moved there. So it just puts blank icons on your home screen so you can arrange the icons however you want. I like this arrangement of icons because I usually hold my eye device with my left hand so I get full range of my thumb just on the borders of the touch screen. So it's kind of convenient because I don't have to reach the upper right corner to get to an app or in the middle. Just right on the edge. Very convenient. And... Let's see what else. Multi icon mover, that's another popular uh, Stia tweak. So, if I want to move multiple icons at once, I can go ahead and go into wiggle mode and just tap the apps that I want to move and go ahead and place them where I want. Tap the home screen, bam, there's all your icons. So, it's kind of convenient so that you don't have to individually click or hold on an icon, drag it to another place, hold another icon, drag it to another place. So it's just more convenient tweak um, than anything really. It'll save you a lot of time if you like to rearrange your icons a lot. Um, let's see. And I'll just go into Winterboard and Zeppelin and Hook's Law. So Hook's Law, it allows some animation for menus. And so if you can kind of tell uh, when you go to a menu, the menu kind of bounces back, kind of like how uh, when you scroll to the top or the bottom of a list, it bounces back. So instead of up and down bouncing, it does left and right bouncing. So if I go to the Hook's Law menu, you can kind of see it bounce um, right when I open it like that. Um, let's see, oh yeah, Zeppelin, so Zeppelin allows you to change the icons of your carrier name as you can kind of tell in my video, I don't know if the autofocus works, but I have a Hello Kitty um, icon up there, I can change it to Abstergo from Assassin's Creed, or I can change it to the Assassin's logo, 
Apple logo, Android, Aperture Science, Windows, Triforce, Superman, Stormtrooper, etc. And there are some packages that allow you to have the different types of uh, icons, like I have the Hello Kitty pack installed. So it's just a kind of cool tweak, I think, um, to have your carrier name replaced with an icon. Um, what else did I say I was going to do? Oh, Winterboard, of course. So on Winterboard, you can go ahead and install different themes for your iDevice. There's a lot of Android ones if you're interested in uh, making your iDevice look like an Android um, phone. <laughs> um, but I'm using 266 icons, which kind of makes the icons tilted and um, diamond shaped, I guess. Um, it's just a little cool thing. I think it looks very clean. There are definitely other ones. Um, I have glass glass clart. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but glass clart. Um, also enabled, so it makes your icons all black, like this photos icon. It's not part of the 266 icon set, so I set it to the glass cart and it looks like that instead. Same with the camera. Kind of looks like the Aperture Science logo. I um, also have purple battery icon, and so when I connect my iPhone to my computer, I can get a purple battery instead of the standard red to green battery. Um, if I disable the unfold tweak, I also have a pink slider enabled. So instead of a default gray slider, I have a pink slider. Just a small winterboard tweak. And oh yeah, also I have no docked icons and no undocked icons enabled, which is part of Winterboard. You don't need to install any themes for it. Um, so it just hides the labels on your apps on your home screen, which is convenient if you have five icons here. Because once you have five icons, all of the labels get jumbled up and messy. So just adds a clean appearance to the home screen, in my opinion. I also have, uh, I believe it's called Transparent Dock. Yeah, Transparent Dock, so it hides your dock really so that there's no um, dock on it like there usually is. So yeah, those are all of my really major tweaks that I have on Cydia. Um, there are definitely other tweaks that are available. These, all the ones I talked about in this video are free. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. I will try and put a list of all the, the tweaks I have on here so that you guys can just look them up rather than having to go back through this video and seeing which ones they are. So thanks for watching and see you guys tomorrow.